Hello, I'm Z, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Now, objectives, objectives, right? Yeah. New Vegas Medical Clinic. Which way? That way. Okay. I'll go there. Yeah, because I was supposed to go there anyway. And that's not an issue. Where did you say the medical clinic was? Right here? This thing? No. No, there's no way this is the medical clinic. This is the medical clinic. Wow. Hello, Stay folks. Alert. Meeting people. I would really love that book. Can we... Yeah. Yeah. It's books, you know, that's... I'm just security, not a doctor. Good. Good. Yeah. Trying to find the doctor, though. I have no idea how most of these people would survive without us. Oh, it's not you. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. That's interesting. Uh, Betsy will be coming. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. All right. What kind of implants do you have? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Uh-huh. I want to buy an implant. Uh, who's my charisma? Huh. Subdermal implant. That would 8,000 caps. I don't have the caps right now. Oh, but what about a different one? Um, greater strength and charisma. 4,000 caps. I still don't have that. Do you sell anything here? I have. Nope. Oh, actually, you do. Show me what you have for sale. Uh, well, not much. I'll tell you that. Not much. Yeah, no. Not something I actually want. Uh, well then. Yep. Wait, if I wait here, it's six right now. If I wait till it's like ten, do I get the ability to sleep in this bed? Yes. And I'll sleep twenty-four hours. Watch this timer go down. Anyways, how's your day been? Mine's been busy. I've been recording two days worth of videos right now. Uh, I don't have to answer why. Okay? No reasons. But yeah, a bit busy with videos. That's all. Alright. Here we go. All healed up. North gate. Gun runners. Northern Passage. Hmm. There's certainly a lot of things, but I think my... M I think I'd be happier to just go here and check out this. Let's, let's just go to the main objective. Fuck it, I can do side objectives all day. I'm sure I can do whatever I want for like three bajillion years and I'll eventually well, have things to do and do the main quest, but I'll be way over leveled by then. I'm just gonna go to the quest because it says to go to the quest. So fuck it. I'll have time to explore. Probably. At the very least. Is this an entrance? Or, or this way. Look, my guy running. Alrighty then. I'm guessing this. Yes, it seems to be. Hey. 
King's guy. It's King's gang. Look like uh, look like the guy I'm trying to find. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. I don't I don't really care. I didn't want to hire anyone. Hmm. Interesting food here. Need some grub. Yeah, what what do you got? Yeah, these all last like three seconds. I don't want that. So, what's this gate? Old Mormon fort. The hell is this place? Howdy. Howdy. Who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I see. But you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Mm-hmm. Bit cryptic. Bit of a dom, yeah. Hey. Who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Uh, what are you doing with the followers? I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay is all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies and detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. Hmm. Got any advice to share? The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. All right. Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hogtying my lovers to make sure they can't escape. <laughs> okay. Some questions. Uh, what do you know about the Kings? What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The King himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. Hmm. Too bad, right? Von Grafts. What do you think about the followers of the Apocalypse? I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Hmm. Von Grafts? couple of rad scorpions those two gloria is the stable one but she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it or rather she'd tell her brother to do it for her john baptiste is one of the sicker humans i've had the displeasure of observing mm -hmm. what's your opinion on mr house before or after the human race shot itself in the foot i've been around long enough to have both opinions see before the war Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. Hmm, I see. I don't really want to talk to you right now anymore. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? No. Need medical supplies? Rates of injury and... What do you need? Medics. Yeah. Got yourself a deal. Just. Yeah. With which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garretts. Right. Sure. Uh, I don't really care. Things seem rough in the freeside. Yeah, probably. I don't really want to talk to you. I'll be honest with you. I will be honest. Morning. Might come back here later. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your stop. Where is Mick and Ralph's? Just before the East Gate. Just before the East Gate. Is it now? I don't only care. If it's 
The kings. Free side. Uh, I am meant to be going some other way, but right now I want to see what this is. School of Impersonation? What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Mm, who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? Mm hmm. I have to see him. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Hmm. Five caps. What do I look like a beggar to you? Take a hike, cheapskate. Yeah, yeah. Let me look at those books, see if I got anything that will help me with that. I mean, I have a suit that can make me talk to him like that. Um. We got programmers digest. That's one of the things I wanted, yeah. Today's physician was one of them. Yeah, that's a good one. Not this one. Meeting people. Plus 10 speech. This one, yeah. Anyways. You want to talk? Look who's back. Here. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Elvis Presley? Yeah. Hey. The king. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Uh, you might have some work, please? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Why you need to? What do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yeah. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. Mm, He's making a I killing have seen him. in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Thanks. GI Blues. Hi. So, I know where that guy is. Or I knew where he was. He was right here a second ago. I'll have to look, keep a lookout for him, I guess. But right now... I'm headed right this way. Wow. Imagine trying to do that. Yeah, you get shot on the spot. <laughs> Life and free side for you. I guess it is. Alright, let's meet let's meet with Benny. There he is. Or no, this is not him. You look new. So he looks like he has a Here's similar a looking suit, but it's not checkered. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Thanks for the fee advice, why are you? The name's old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. I see. Crier? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. 
Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Hmm. Wrong place, wrong time, if you ask me. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. I see. Goodbye. You said they vaporize anyone who isn't authorized? And that guy's authorized? No. He don't look authorized. All clear. Submit to a credit check. Or present your passport before proceeding to They the look game. like um Trespassers will be shot. Victor was his name? It's the robot, let me pass. Uh oh. What that's for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. I'll submit the credit check. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. I'm rich enough. Well, here we are. Howdy, partner. Yeah, Victor, here you are. Peace, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Yeah, um, you seem to have a lot of robot-looking brothers. Consider me your personal welcome, wife. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Uh, why is a robot passing on his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dog, he'll be waiting. That's it, keep moving. Keep turning into one of these bots. I see. So Victor straight up is just like a... A way to, to fool people. Your commanding officer after this. Why do they call it a monorail? It's a train. I have a mind a to throw train. you on a cell and let you. Sure. Why do they call it a monorail? Because that's what it's called. No loitering. All right. Man, well, where's Benny? This casino. This casino. What a flashy place. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Why do you need my guns? Security, baby. Can't make the bread if the bakers are full of lead. You dig it? Don't worry. Your safest house is in here. Courtesy of Mr. House. Sure. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Where is Benny? Where'd you take my weapons? Relax, baby, the safest houses. Locked up in the we'll bank, keep... okay. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. All right. I'll check it all out. How's it hanging? Not really... Well, considering I've died once. 
How's it hanging? Not too well. Play blackjack. Purchase chips before you do that. Alright, time to waste my money. Where do I purchase chips? Cashier's office upstairs? Is that where I purchase chips? Here, right? Yeah. Welcome to the tops. How can I help you? I'd like to uh, exchange Legion money for chips. How many chips? Um, 80 chips. Here's your chips. Sure. I don't think I'm going to be using Legion money anytime soon, so, yeah. Hello. Blackjack time. Although the house always in, always wins. Current bet. Uh, we're betting five. Actually, we're betting fucking ten. What am I talking about? Um, deal. Um, okay. I could hit here. I... Hmm. Do I want to, though? They've got a two. And I, uh... I've got 14. I guess I could. 16. I lost it. Because that was a bust deal. I'm oh, really losing money by doing this now. Um, okay. Hit. That's a 19, sure. Stay. I won. I've seen double down. I could if they bust. They've got an eight. Sure. You lose, Tony. Yeah. That's a thirteen. I could double down here. I lose again. That's a twenty. I will. Stay. Could you either be 19 or a uh, 10, right? That's how it works. Oh no, a 20 or a 10. I'll stay. I win. Double down. I win. I just get a natural 21. Increase the bet up to 25. It Stay. I lose. Ah. They were one above. Hmm. I think I double down. No. A bit too much. I, I mean, a bit too little. I stay. I lose it. Yeah. Also always wins. And I was planning to play until that happened. So, you know. Not like I'm surprised. Hello. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Yeah, I was literally ready to like play until I lost all my money. So just, yeah. What in the goddamn... <laughs> Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. It was you set the cons free down in Boulder City? You did that? Oh, shit. Yeah. Seems you need to work on your marksmanship. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick-skulled? Both. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere is more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. What do you have in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Mm hmm Two conditions. Lose the bodyguards and we both go to the suite now. My suite. Someone's got to pay my contract. So I can either gain money 
I can make sure I don't have to fight. Hmm. We talk here and now. Do what you gotta do, baby. And let the chips fall as they may. You know where to find me. Don't get too close to Mr. Benny. Yeah? Cool by me if you want to talk after all. But a confab like this, out in... I want the platinum chip and I want it now. I can't do that, baby, and you know it. There's a lot of angles to this caper. Complexities aplenty. But plenty of action, too. Enough for both of us. But we don't jabber about that out here in public. Like I said, we should be talking... Right, right. What do you have in mind? Yeah? Two conditions. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Sure. Thanks, Benny. Fucking loser. Shooting a courier in the fucking head. Have a seat, baby. Let's get this kicking. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Securitron drug me up, and a dog and the good springs did the rest. House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Seems you dropped something in Boulder City. To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? Hmm. I'm wondering why I shouldn't just kill you. You've got a crazy drop on me here, baby. That's for sure. If killing's what you came for, this would be the time. But baby, you'd be disappointing me. All the trouble you went through to arrange this shindig must be something more you're after. What are you offering? You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, Dig. With enough robot muscle to back it up, you'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. Mm. How's that sound? Sounds... Answers first. Yeah. Tell me about the chip itself. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. How's the chip work? It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer I've found. Must require special hardware. The chip belongs to me. Hand it over. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me. Not you. Did I ask? You'll get a piece of the action and Did I ask? But the chip sticks with me. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Answer first. I want to know about the factions gunning for Vegas. Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. Mr. House. A good cat to swing with. Or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. Hmm. What makes him so special? The chairman, so special. We're the definition of cool, baby. Not the him. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. Hmm. What do you think of the Omertas? A tribe of finks. Every single one of them is a degenerate. Mark my words, they're playing an angle. How do I know? They always are. Hmm. How about the NCR? A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too. And smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House and a lot afraid of Caesar. 
If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Hmm. What about the White, Glo White Glove Society? Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Hmm. How about Caesar's Legion? Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're going to try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. All right. So, about that scheme. Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. Hmm. What makes you think you can succeed? Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's it's coming together. Hmm. And you're willing to commit murder? Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. No, I understand it. I see your point. It's a game, and games have winners and losers. I prefer the former. How about you? Same. So, about that offer. What's the ship do, actually? I forgot it to ask this. It has something to do with the Securitrons. I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power. Gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the Strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. Hmm. Your offer. That's a deal. Jackpot, baby. I knew we'd see eye to eye. Here's a start on your retainer. Don't spend it all in one place, and the prez is yours for as long as you want it. When you're ready to saddle up, come find me down on the casino floor and we'll plan the next step of this caper. Ring-a-ding, baby. Ta-ta. Alrighty, then. This place is mine now, huh? Quite nice. Over here! Quite... Oh. Your bodyguards seem to have a different idea. I don't have any weapons, so... this. Let's take this. That's enough. That's enough, I said. Let me eat some stuff. Buff out cigarette. Another pistol. Boom. And another one. There. 
perish. Ah, yeah, well, safe. Well, I think I'll take all this. Except for those, actually. How you feeling? Not so well? Actually, you're feeling really well. Full HP. I see. I can sit, but I'd like to sleep. Any place like that around here? Yes. Yes, there is. There we go. And hey, a book. True police stories. Well, that is great. Still, Benny, you really did, thought, thought that could stop me. I have a mercenary here that's way stronger than you, and you thought that would stop me. A mercenary who trusts me, most of all. Tales of chivalry, pack of cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. <sighs> Dad, Benny. I dealt with him because I like the idea of the person who killed us being our ally now, but... If he does this kind of stuff, well, I don't know about that. Well. Either way, I don't think there's anything left here. Oh, actually, there is. I think I'll read that. Unarmed. There we go. The cleaners will knock twice. Make sure they're thorough. Real mess here. Four bodies. What the fuck? No response. Hmm. I'll leave that to them. Hey, you baby. What's the haps? Hey. Enjoying your stay? Yeah, I like my weapons back. Relax, bitch. Alright, how do I take him back? This is just swell. Benny Vamooses and I'm left holding the bag. What do you need, kid? Have you seen Benny? I saw him heading for his suite just a few minutes ago. Looked like a fox that just got caught in the hen house. Maybe you'll catch him there. Yeah, I will. <sighs> Who are you? Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is my joint. I thought Benny ran the place. Yeah, well, that's the way it used to be. Now that Benny's gone, it's just me in charge. Hmm. Got any jobs? You might have a jaw at Tommy Torini up in the Aces. He's always looking for talent scouts. All right. Sure. Yeah, he's got to catch that freak now. Inaccessible. Does this give me all my weapons back? Yeah, it does. Yippee. Ain't that just lovely. Anyways, throw this shit away. Silence the pistol. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Caesar? Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Really? How'd you find me here? I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the strip. Why well, do you want to see me? Go to him and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. Sure. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Thanks. I'll read it. Miscellaneous. Ambassador Crocker's note. Um, Honorable Nation. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I need to reassure that if you've committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, this might... Power to pardon, misconduct. Oh, so it's essentially if you had negative reputation, now is your chance to redeem yourself, you know? Alright. I see. Well, that's cool. 
I'm gonna save here, though. That was a lot of stuff that we did today. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow.